What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Um, we are currently in the palace, Kaneshiro's palace. Not in there, but we're like at the entrance. Uh, this will be our first time going in. So let's go in and see what's going on in the giant bank. There's money flying around. It's pretty awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the fox. I was like, who is this? Alrighty, let's go. Shall we go? Yes, let's go in. What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. Hey. They're showing him respect. It's Kaneshiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. In theory. Alright, please wait. Reception is to the right, towards the back. I strongly advise you do not attempt to go elsewhere. He said to the right, this way? That's not the way. just past this door. Incredible. What is this little door? I wonder what that is. Is this up? This is it? Beef balls could I eat with this? <laughs> Unauthorized injury, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite a tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. Dude, his, his mustache is amazing. You gonna call it off then? No, alone. The interest rate is ten percent a day. Ten percent interest a day. Um, uh, that means uh, one day is. It's three hundred thousand yen. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning. Wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. Oh, he knows. Please. He knows everything. Intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous. Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. Oh, damn. 
Those are some big old demons right there. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Holy crap. Alright, um, I, whoosh, let's just shoot him first. Ooh, looking cool, Joker! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Persona! You're mine. Persona! More big boys. Let's go. All right, I want to do. Pixie. Zio. Oh no. You think we can try to get him? Words aren't getting through. Oh, they don't listen. We'll just beat them up. Okay, guys. turn into monsters and what were those supernatural powers could those have been the personas you mentioned does now really look like the time to be asking that we need to retreat makoto make sure you don't get separated from us hurry joker the exit's just over there we're just gonna leave really that's so lame You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. So, it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. Man. You guys kind of a douche. Successful. If only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this. Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! <gasps> oh, she's about to rip off her mask. Let's go. Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. I am thou. Thou art I. 
You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! Whoa, bro, I just realized she got a freaking motorcycle. It's a bike. I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it! <laughs> wow, nice! What is that? I've never seen anything like it. You better earn your keep. Or else I'll kill you! I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? Nice. Bro, so her persona is a freaking motorcycle. Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Uh, we'll use the gun. So, so. Witness my resolve. So he resisted the gun. Let's go. My boy. I'm not done. Go down. Persona! Oh, dude, it hits everybody. Now, let's get out of here. Nice. We leveled up. I gotta use this next time. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Damn. <laughs> she just drove through. Yeah, she's crazy. Stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. That aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. <laughs> so she's like hella beat now. I never now. thought I'd become part of the phantom thieves I was after. This might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. 
I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but there are times I feel sorry for her too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. <laughs> it's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Damn, Anyways, chill out, lady. Let's begin our operation tomorrow. She freaking out. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Damn, motorcycles are cool. <laughs> I wish my persona was like that. Honestly, bro, I'm not gonna lie. He has the best persona still. Way better than a motorcycle. He's a freaking pirate. That's the best. Yours is on a ship. Are you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. That's not true. It'll be just like that song. I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. Don't say such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all. Do, do you got a license? A regular one? Yeah. Nice. I can't wait to get my hands on one. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I understood the true intentions in this. If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzui too. We don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on someone's minds. On everyone's minds. Now, now is not the time to be talking about that stuff though. Don't we gotta be doing something? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyways, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Nice. Makato seems like she'll make a reliable advisor. But now she's... Oh, now we are going up against a real criminal. Stay on your toes, okay? Hey. Another box came from you. Yeah. Alrighty, so what do we got to do? We can clean up. I want to see, can we call the maid? Mm. Oh my God. I'm never going to get to do it, bro. Hey. I just cleaned up like yesterday, right? Let's finish our video game. Oh! I can't tell you how to see me. Okay.
Oh god, I forgot. Oh, I don't think I did. I get it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Forty is crazy. Oh, my forearm almost cramped up. Jesus. Our guts are high. A motorcycle shaped persona, huh? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity. <laughs> Maybe you're a persona. Uh, no, I'm supposed to be human. I don't know. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers. She of might people. be, or I he really might be special a, after all. a persona. Huh? Maybe. No. Take somewhere? Something just crossed my mind. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. Hmm. Eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. <laughs> She's Man, clever, we're not. You really do have something special. Nah, it was a coincidence. Looks like I better step up my game too. Yeah. May you ranked up with Morgana. All right. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can. Hello. <laughs> Uh, we got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room, although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway, um, I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To kamaki -san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me. And I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm very sorry. She called her senpai? Hey, there is no need for that. In fact... I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. It felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm hmm Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Mijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless. But you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. 
I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. <laughs> oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? They're gonna chill and eat some crepes. Very nice. Uh-oh. I realize this is a mite late, but how shall I refer to you, Nijima? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are of our senior. Oh well, yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal. Just treat me the same way you would anyone else. All right. Would that not be rude? I already just called her by name. For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls. Damn it, that sounds like fun. <laughs> All of you may call me by my first name. No need to be hesitate. Very well, I shall do the. I shall do that. Are you listening? Oh God. Don't throw the chalk at me. Pay attention. Here it comes. Yes, I dodged it. <laughs> I can't believe he dodged it. <laughs> what a ninja. Hey. Hell yeah. That's funny that we dodged the, the chalk. Fine, finally, after all that time. All right, so our next target is a criminal one that even the police can't handle. We'll take care of him ourselves and leave the world speechless. All right, so the mission has started. Hey, have you seen the Phantom Thieves website? You can actually request them to target someone. Something like that sounds like it could lead to a lot of trouble. I guess it does sound like they're pretty dangerous after all. There was a poll or something about Phantom Thieves, and not too many people support them. Alright, so what are we supposed to do? What is that? Teacher, doctor guy. Let's do it. Let's, uh... Hmm. Is that what we should do? Is just hang out with this... Do this with this guy? We haven't done it in a long time. We haven't talked to him. I guess let's do it. Hey there. Oh, it's you. It's gotten so hot lately. Really makes me reconsider the lab coat. If you're already with it, I'd like to get some input from you. Do you have time right now? There's no pressure, obviously. I feel like my bond with Maruki will grow. Hmm. Yeah, let's help him out. <laughs> Hmm. 
I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole miss with Kamoshida was the reason I got called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, the typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Uh, that's not to say I haven't gotten a sense of every single student's emotional state. Either way, I hope my worries end up being groundless after all. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward. I have to ask you for help. You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Of course. Uh, I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry. It won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... But let's see, maybe I should start at the beginning. I could tell you a little about what this research is. I'm studying now as a pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancifully in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone see saying hurtful things to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clear. Pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Bodily, physically pain can be thought of as something necessary, an odd an automatic response to injury still but what about pains felt within your heart that pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies right it's something strange and Im immaterial i guess it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds you know i i want to learn more about these internal psychological pains this is my question to you when do you truly feel pain in your heart sometimes all it takes is one betrayal for intense trust to turn into intense pain it can be rough it does feel good to struggle with pain in your heart it doesn't feel good for example. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart? That kind of pain is only born because we fall in love. Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain? Uh, I'm gonna say this. It proves and validates that love that comes back, or come, came before it, after all. A very fitting answer. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. I agree, of course, I think that's a fair assessment. Though, personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect in and in a way they're far more complex than physical injuries. You helped me realize that purpose again. Right. All right. Maybe. Level up the counselor. All right. Alright, that's it for today. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. Your mental training. I didn't forget about your promise. Or our promise, of course. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with research. Now then, how about something like this? All right. Well, see you. This is Maruki. Do you have time to talk? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session of the day, and I thought I'd rather... I'd thank you once again for your help. Alright, cool. Rain, huh? There has been no sign yet of Kanashiro acting on his threat. He probably thinks his money is just going to come rolling in. He does have the upper hand on us. If that picture got out, who knows what would end up happening. Guess worst case scenario, he gets us a spell? Expelled? What? There's more serious alternatives. He's currently under probation. I'm sorry, this whole situation is my fault. Stop that. I mean, you're the one who's in the most trouble right now. My sister is a prosecutor. This will surely be a problem for her as well. Kana Shiro must surely be taking that aspect into account too. Even the police are having trouble with this bastard. We'll be heroes if we catch him. You're also positive. In a way, your recklessness is the only reason we are now able to pursue this change of heart. Totally. We're in deep crap and we're going to do whatever it takes or whatever we can to get out of it. Never thought of things in a way before. In that way. Um, it's quite a strange. It is quite strange hearing something so positive from Ryuji. All right. Can we decide when we, we meet up? Position changes? In any case, we're in big trouble if we can't change Kanashiro's heart. I should write something. Alright, this will be where we stop for today. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll probably go back to the palace. And try to find our, like, how to find the treasure and stuff. So... Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.